Today on Lessons with Lemon, I'm gonna give you my four favorite short game drills. Two putting drills and two chipping drills. Let's get going. The first one is the mirror alignment putting drill, and I'm using the eyeline putting mirror, and I have a link to that in the description. I learned this drill from Open Champion Cam Smith. So what you'll do is you'll line the mirror up with a straight six foot putt. And this particular one, you use tees in the ground to hold it in place. Once you've got it lined up, then you'll start making putts. And very quickly, you'll learn how your stroke is. Because if you're missing putts with this straight alignment, then you know that your putting stroke is off. And I'll use my full putting routine on this, where I take a practice stroke next to the ball, then I line myself up and pull the trigger. The more you use this putting drill, the more consistent and straight your putts will start out. The next drill is what I like to call the Thunderline putting drill. And what you'll need for this is about a 14, 12 or 14 foot straight putt and 10 tees to line it up. You'll place the first tee two feet from the hole and then each tee after that will be another foot behind that. So the second one, the third one, the fourth one, the fifth one, another foot, all the way back to 10. And the way you do this drill is you start with the first tee and you have three chances to make each putt from each tee. So the first one you make, then you move on to the next one. And once you make that one, you move on to the next one. And if you happen to miss a putt, you have two more chances to make the putt from that particular tee marker. But if you miss all three, then you will need to start over. But the idea is that this drill is great because you'll be making a lot of short putts. And then the farther you get away from the hole, the more pressure you'll be putting on yourself to make the putts and not wanting to start over. And this pressure will emulate the same pressure you'll have in competition when you're playing out on the real course. Continue to do this drill until you're able to make all 10 putts. Once you do that, you're finished. number three is a speed chipping drill. Pick a spot off the green to chip from, and you could have this a long distance or a short distance to a hole. Then take four tees, and you'll place each tee in a square three feet from the hole, and this will make a big square. And then once you start chipping, the idea is to either make the chip or keep the ball within the square. The idea of this drill is to work on your speed when you're chipping. And this way, when you're chipping out on the course, you'll have good practice keeping the ball within three feet of the hole or actually making it. So that way, when you come up after your chip shot, you'll have an easy three footer or less for par or birdie. Feel free to use different wedges and different clubs to chip with from different distances. This will give you a better feel for the green and keeping your speed in line. I sometimes will notice that I'm using a too lofted of a club and I may need to club down to like a 52 degree, a pitching wedge, or even an eight iron to give me the best chance of keeping the ball within the square or making it. The next drill is called the perfect contact chipping drill. And you'll need an alignment stick and a wedge to use this drill. Take the alignment stick and grip it alongside the club. And the idea with this drill is to keep your hands forward so you can have crisp, clean contact when you're chipping around the green. Now what's great about this drill is you'll get instant feedback because if your hands start to flip and you don't have your hands forward, the alignment stick will hit you in the side and you'll be able to notice that immediately. So I love using this drill around the green and I'll do this before I practice maybe some other chipping drills. That way I know that I'm hitting the ball first and I'll have nice clean crisp contact and give me the best chance to get the ball in or close to the hole. Well, there you go, my four favorite short game drills. Those two putting drills and two chipping drills. Use those next time you hit the practice range before your round or if you're doing a practice session, and it will definitely improve your short game and lower your scores. All right, Coach Lemon, see you guys. Have a great day.